today's book is a fiction book and it's Dinner at the Panda Palace. The Panda Palace opened at six one night. All the tables were ready and the room was just right. As the diners arrived, they were graciously greeted. Mr. Panda himself helped each one be seated. An elephant came first with a trunk that was gray. He'd been out on the road selling peanuts all day. I'm enormously hungry and my bag weighs a ton. I would like to sit down. Have you a table or one? And there he is. The lions came next. They were dropped off outside. Welcome, your highness. How was your ride? The traffic was awful. The bumps were bad too. We are so glad to be here. Do you have a table for two? Hmm, do you see a pattern coming on? It's definitely a rhyme book, but I think there's something else going on too. Along came some pigs who needed to hide. Quick, Mr. Han Panda, there's a wolf on our trail. We must lose him, you see. We'll stay here for dinner. Have you a table for three? Hmm. So there was one elephant, two lions, and now three pigs. A proud group of peacocks whose feathers spanned wide was a most splendid sight for the others inside. With heads held up high, they walked through the door. Do we need reservations or can you sit for? I bet you know the pattern. And then one by one, the monkeys arrived. They were swinging across for their table for five. The giraffes had just painted the rooftops in town. Is there a table for six? We would like to sit down. The hyenas walked in and laughed right out loud. They never had seen such a wonderful crowd. We're coming from afar for our family meeting. There are seven of us. Do you have seating? That place is packed. A party of penguins came straight from a ball, waddled in through the door, hats, jewels, and all. This is just the right place for our elegant date. Please, Mr. Panda, is there a table for eight? The honey bear all-stars with gloves, balls, and bats had played a great game with their tiger-striped cats. We hit three home runs, so we're feeling just fine. Now, is this time for our party? Is there a room for nine? Here's a chick, there a chick. Where's Mother Hen? Oh, here she comes now for a table of 10. I bet you guys knew 10 was coming. The restaurant was humming. The waiters moved fast. Feeding 55 diners was no easy task. Then, through all of the noise, came a knock at the door. A tiny mouse asked, is there room for one more? Can you see that itty-bitty mouse there? Oh, my. Does it look like there's room for one more? Well, Mr. Panda looked left. Mr. Panda looked right. All the tables were filled at the Panda Palace that night. Did he say, I am sorry, we have a full house? We can't fit one more, not even a mouse. Do you think that's what he said? No, no, not Mr. Panda. He found one more seat. In no time, the mouse had a fine meal to eat. Ah, he is on a trunk. So, if you're ever hungry and going that way, just see Mr. Panda, and here's what he'll say. There's the little mouse. No matter how many, no matter how few, there will always be room at the palace for you. And that is the end of that story. It's a definitely a fiction book, but one I like. I hope you have a great time learning about pandas today.